Greetings, fellow captains. Today I will tell you about the features of Update 0.6.8, a new operation, the second collection, quick messages, and many others. Stay tuned. Update 0.6.8 kicks off with the first historical campaign, based on the well-known events that took place at Dunkirk in May 1940. Our bravest captains are welcome to a briefing. So, we're approaching the coast of France. Allied troops are surrounded. We must evacuate them and deliver them to a safe place. Sounds easy? You wish. Air raids, gunfire from the coast, and torpedo boats make this so much more challenging. But the true threats are the minefields. Follow the map closely and don't try to sail through them. Good luck, captains! Fans of military history, get ready to gather a unique collection of 16 items. You can extend your collection of trophies with British trucks, a 210mm German mortar, and other models from the time of Operation Dynamo. You can earn them by completing special missions. Complete the collection to receive a commemorative flag, an honorable achievement, and British Commander Jack Dunkirk. He is peculiar for having three improved skills, Jack of all trades, expert marksman, and smokescreen expert, a decent gentleman for British ships. And there's another nice bonus too. Complete a chain of missions and you'll get a special permanent camouflage for Battleship Dunkirk. How handy would it be if you could quickly ask an ally to cover you with a smoke screen or anti-aircraft fire? In Update 0.6.8, this can be done with just a couple of clicks. Use new quick messages, coordinate your actions with allies, and victory is just a matter of time. Following player feedback, the coveted super container was made more diverse and alluring. Here's everything we added. A few premium ships, unique camouflages, and special economic and combat signals. In addition, as you requested, we decreased the chance of receiving a special upgrade and removed kits with credits from the super container options. By the way, special upgrades began to play out in fresh colors. I hope you didn't sell them, as some of them were moved to more suitable slots. Want to put an emphasis on survivability? Easy! Update 0.6.8 allows you to mount both the damage control party and damage control system upgrades. Wish to improve your hydroacoustic search without sacrificing the anti-aircraft upgrade? Now this is also possible. Feel free to try different combinations to your liking. The changes in Update 0.6.8 also affected destroyer Habarovsk. At long range, she is still the queen of primary armament. As for torpedoes, the only choice now is the unique ET-46 model. The detectability of these torpedoes was near enough halved. Now it's just 600 meters. A small tweak was applied to cruiser Indianapolis. It will be more convenient to play her. The ship's detectability range was reduced by more than a kilometer, and the range of her surveillance radar became almost 10 kilometers. Soviet destroyers Ognivoy, Tashkent, and Grozovoy had their combat characteristics improved significantly. For Ognivoy, it's reduced torpedo reload time. Tashkent received more hit points, and Grozovoy not only had her firing rate enhanced, but also became on a par with other Tier 10 destroyers in terms of concealment. That's all for now. I'm Dasha Perova. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more news. Выполните цепочку боевых задач и памятный флаг, памятный флаг. Джек Дункер. Джек Дункер. Еще раз можно? Камень на дворе. Там не было такого. В центре событий окажется прошедший длинный путь до адмирала Исоруку. Исоруко. И еще раз можно я скажу? Исоруко. Про Джека Дюнкерка было намного проще. Исоруку. Подписывайтесь на наши обновления и следите за нашими роликами.